Hi all, Ziv from Elementor here. Today we will focus on the horizontal scroll motion effect. I'll show you how it's used and give you a step-by-step -step explanation on how to apply this effect so you can make this cool heading color change illusion while scrolling through the page as well. So let's dive in and see how it works. Let's start with the gray heading. In the heading widget settings, under advanced, go to motion effects. Switch the scrolling effects to on. Press the pencil next to the horizontal scroll option to enter its settings. Now change the direction to right. I'll leave the speed and viewport settings as is. Great, let's see it in action. Cool. Now let's see how to apply the same motion concept in order to create the color change illusion you see here. I'll go ahead and work on this clean page so that you can see how it's done step by step. As you can see, I've already added two sections. These will give us the height we need to scroll through the page. I'll add a new section and place it in between them. We will apply the cool motion concept to this section. Ok great, now let's insert an inner section and delete the left column. Give this section a min height of 450 pixels. In the style tab I'll set the background color to pink. Now go over to this column here and in the advanced tab Set the left padding to 33%. Great! Now let's add the heading widget. Change the title and style it to your liking. I'll go ahead and add some padding to the top of the column here. Great! Now the heading fits nicely. Back to the heading settings. In the advanced tab under motion effects, switch the scrolling effects to on. Now press the pencil icon next to the horizontal scroll option. I'll leave the default settings as is. Let's check what we have so far. Cool! It gets a little tricky from now onwards, so pay attention. Duplicate the inner section. As you can see, the new inner section appears under the first one. To make things clear, I'll open the navigator and name this inner section Second Inner. I'll do the same for the first inner section and call it first inner. I'll go back to the second inner section and change its background color to white. We can't see the title because it's white as well. So go to the heading settings and change the color to the same pink you see above. Now let's add a negative top margin to the second inner section. Go to its settings and under advanced set the top margin to negative 450. Wait, the second inner section appears on top of the first one. We want it the other way around. Let's fix that by changing its z-index. For the second inner section, in the advanced tab, set the z-index to 1. For the first inner section, in the advanced tab, set the z-index to 2. Ok, great. Let's check it out. Cool. But when I scroll, I only want the second inner section with a pink title to show once it's outside the section. At the moment, the first inner section with the white title appears on top and therefore covers the pink heading on the left side of the section when scrolling. In order to fix this, we need to make sure only the pink title appears outside the section. How do we achieve this? First, in order to show you, I'll remove the negative 450 pixel margin of the second inner section so it appears below the first again. I'll move it back afterwards. It's important to know that the moment the heading widget moves out of the section it's in, as you can see here, it essentially overflows because it's too big to fit in the section. Elementor has a feature that can specify whether or not to hide this content when it overflows. I'll show you how it's done. Go to the second inner section settings and in layout, set overflow to hidden. Now when we scroll, the title's content is clipped so we don't see it anymore when it leaves the section it's in. I'll go ahead and set it back to default, because in our case, this needs to be applied to the white title in the first inner section. We only want the pink title in the second inner section to continue once it overflows. So go to the first inner section layout settings and set overflow to hidden. Now let's add the negative 450 pixel margin back. And check it out. Great! Now our changing color illusion works properly. Let's see it in action again on our landing page. Cool. 
Well, that's it. Now you know how to use the horizontal scroll motion effect and apply it creatively to make your own cool color change illusions when visitors scroll through your page. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. See you later.